In 1990, in the picturesque state of Michigan, a real-life action-packed wedding took place that had everyone on the edge of their seats. Little did the guests know, the blushing bride and dashing groom were not your average couple. They were undercover agents, devoted to upholding the law and stopping the flow of illegal substances in their tracks. The scene was set, with the wedding venue draped in elegance and a diverse assortment of guests eagerly awaiting the nuptials. Unbeknownst to them, however, the guest list was carefully curated to include a nefarious group of drug dealers and their companions, who had been operating under the radar for far too long. As the ceremony began, the bride and groom exchanged heartfelt vows, vowing to protect and serve their community. But little did the unsuspecting drug dealers realize that they were the ones about to be served a slice of justice. Just when the festivities seemed at their peak, the atmosphere took a dramatic turn. Instead of the traditional wedding march, the sound of handcuffs clicking into place echoed through the venue. Chaos ensued, as startled drug dealers found themselves surrounded by law enforcement officers. The beautiful wedding cake, meant to symbolize the sweetness of love, became a stark reminder of the bitter consequences awaiting those who choose to live by the wrong side of the law. The bride and groom, disguised in their wedding attire, revealed their true identities as they apprehended the shocked offenders one by one. This extraordinary wedding bust became the talk of the town, with the news spreading like wildfire throughout the community. The undercover agent's ingenious scheme had successfully led to numerous arrests and a significant dent in the local drug trade. This captivating tale of love, law, and a wedding bust to remember serves as a reminder of the dedication and cleverness embodied by law enforcement officers. It is a shining example of their unwavering commitment to protecting the public and ensuring a safer, more secure society for all.